Hi guys, this is Peggy with I'mLosingItToday.com and I am back with Robin Moore again. She is a Mary Kay beauty consultant um, and done very, very well with her business. She's earned two cars and I think three diamond rings. Yes. And so she's done very well with her business and I wanted to ask her, you know, what can you share with women that are maybe thinking about starting a home business or maybe they have a home business and they're being feeling very discouraged and then we started talking and I said, you know, as we were going through that first segment, I thought to myself, what about excuses? We can really, oh, I have a bone in my leg today. I don't really think I can do this. <laughs> oh, I think I have a little bit of a headache. I think I'll just chill on the couch sure. today. So we can come up with some great excuses. So what have you found in working with women about Getting rid of excuses. Sure. Well, first of all, I want to thank you so much, Peggy, for, and I should have said that on the first segment, for oh, just no. having me. I really appreciate it. We just kind of got right into it. <laughs> um, and um, I love the losingit.com because um, we kind of need to lose our excuses. And the I'll be honest. In our life. Yeah. I'll know? be honest. I don't have to go very far to hear excuses. I can just look in the mirror. Um, yeah. I have given myself um, many excuses as why I couldn't do something. So I just speak from experience and sharing my heart. Um, when you, when your why of why you're doing something, whether that is, you know, why you choose to stay home with your kids or why you choose to start an in-home business or even why you choose to work outside of the home, when your why is big enough and important enough, your excuses become really small. But it's yeah. really easy to let ourselves off the hook, especially if you own your own business mm -hmm. and it's in your home and maybe it's not your main source of income. It's really easy to let ourselves off yeah. the hook. Um, our excuses can become our children. Our excuses can become... Um, you know, just our husbands are, if you don't have any of those, we can just say, well, our excuses are, I'm tired and I don't feel yeah. well. Um, but really all you're doing is just letting yourself off the hook as to why you should do something and you're, you're choosing not to do it. So when your why, really what I've been taught is when my why has so much, gives me so much passion to the point where I would almost break down in tears and mm -hmm. have broken down in tears because of the passion I have for why I'm doing this, why I choose to work this business, um, be a mom, be a wife, be a servant of the Lord. Yeah. Um, it, it makes my excuses just not worth it. And that's yeah. all they are. They're just, they're just really the devil's way of like maybe us choosing to be a little bit lazy or right. us choosing to put one thing, or we think one thing above the other. Like right. if I sat down with my kids later on in life, like the best thing about um, why I started my in-home business, even though the reason I was to get away from my children, <laughs> um, just to, for a little while, for a short time, a couple hours, I needed to get away, um, but really, they have seen and grown up and learned that you don't have excuses. You don't need to have excuses in life. You can right. work really hard and persevere and push. And, um, you know, sometimes we fail and we think if we fail, that's, that's a bad thing. But there's so many lessons you can learn when you don't hit a goal um, or what you do, even though you didn't hit a goal. So many yeah. people quit. Yeah. And they say, well, I was no good. I didn't hit this goal. Yeah. Or I, I, I didn't make time. I'm not good with time management. So I'm going to quit. Yeah. You know? And when, when I think of what I've learned in 10 years that despite, you know, times being sick or the kids were sick or life was crazy and busy, um, I was still able to persevere and keep balance in my life and right. still be successful. Am I as quickly up the ladder as maybe other people? No, but I know that I've done it the way God intended me to do it. So right. I can say, man, that gives you power. That makes you excited when right. you can say, oh my word, I, I completed this task, even though I thought at all costs, everything was crazy in my life, yet I still was able to get it done. It feels really good. And then your kids see it. And then your kids start thinking, 
you know, about the business, you know, it's so cute. My little Abe, when he comes up to me and tells me his newest, greatest in-home business that he's going to start. <laughs> And it sounds like you got a family of entrepreneurs. <laughs> but I love that because they're dreamers. Yeah. And I think God puts mm -hmm. those dreams in our heart. And it, Actually, he gives yes. us that, that passion and excitement. And if my kids want to own their own businesses, I come from an entrepreneurial spirit. My dad right. owns his own business. I love that. I love right. that. That's what makes our country great is all Absolutely. these small businesses that that feed into our economy and our community. But then I can still balance my life. And yeah. I can still take care of my children. Yes. Yeah. And I know you on a personal level. I mean, Robin and I have been friends for a long time. And I can see that in your life. I do appreciate that you have tried to keep it balanced. Because to me, you can have the most successful home business. But then if you lose your family in the process. Not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, I have seen people that have done very successful. They're divorced. Their kids don't have anything to do with them. Um, they have a very successful business and they have a lot of money, but they have nothing. They have no one to share it with. Gain the world, but lose you know, your soul. Exactly. It's not and worth it. To me, you've done a great job, oh, I think, because I know I, I know your kids and I know your family. Um, but you do have to stay balanced. And if it takes you a little bit longer to get, you know, uh, we have talked about in past segments about writing down your goals. Mm -hmm. And if you don't meet a goal and you've done everything you know how to do to get to that goal and you don't meet it, well, just keep trying to change meet. the date. Yeah, change it. And I will on. say, Mary Kay said, if you don't hit your goal, change the date, the yeah. time frame, you know, yeah. but you don't stop working towards no, it. No, because you're not going to ever meet that goal if you just stop. If you quit, you know? you'll never know. <laughs> and there's this really cool like meme where um, there's two guys digging in a in a trench or in a hole and they're digging and digging and digging and one guy stops and he just thinks oh I can't complete this and it shows him being only like inches away from your goal from right. his goal right whereas if he had just kept going maybe he saw not as much success as he would have liked to have achieved by that point but had he just gone it could have been that next week Right. That you'd have reached that big goal. Right. So that is, again, where we come back to that risk. Yeah. You know, yeah. are you willing to not listen to your excuses? Because that's all they are is excuses. And make sure your why brings you passion and excitement. And um, really now, like my why has changed in 10 years. Right. My why is still my children, but it's not to get away from them. It is to to help them to that next level. Right. To um, just really to, to be, do more for my family. And then and when I can do more for my family, then I can also do more outside of my family. Right. In my church and in my right. community. And, um, you know, and it all starts with that internal right. why. Why am I doing this? And just on a footnote of that, if you are thinking about starting a business or whatever it is maybe you're thinking about doing a weight loss journey whatever it is that you're thinking about pursuing in your life get a piece of paper out and a pencil and write down your why and look at okay this is my why am i doing this because it's going to be very important to know your why mm -hmm. because if your why is not what your why is it, it can't be somebody else's yeah. why you know, sure. I'm, I'm trying personal. to lose this weight yeah. because, you know, my husband keeps on my case about losing the weight. Yeah. You're not going to be successful. No. You'll have candy in your car. <laughs> You're going to be sneaking <laughs> in. Yeah. And there won't be any candy in the house. Yeah. But you'll sneak candy in the car. But and it, ha it has to come deep within you what your why is. Sure. So if you are, get a piece of paper out, write it down and say, this is my why. And then when you have those times of discouragement because you're gonna have them just it's not gonna be all hunky-dory you're gonna have times of discouragement sure. get that why out look at it again and say okay this is why I'm doing this you know and when I originally started this uh, I'm losing it today mm -hmm. it started out as kind of a weight loss journey but it has just really blossomed into now I'm kind of looking at I'm losing the negative in my life sure different ladies that I've interviewed have all come up with their they're very successful in what they've done and they're losing that negative mm -hmm. in their life and that and that could even be negative friends sure 
Unfortunately, <laughs> it could be somebody sure. that's kind of, you know, in your ear all the time. Well, you can't do that and you shouldn't be mm -hmm. doing that. Then, unfortunately, you probably should go to someone that's going to build you up. Sure. You know, well, they are you. also, they can be those excuses that you use. Right. Um, well, this person who I trusted and loved doesn't believe that I could do it. I probably can't do it. Right. Um, but if we just kind of put blinders on to what your why is, and I would even as go as far as to say it should be all over your house. Um, yeah. We are encouraged to put it in our car and to put it, you know, in the refrigerator and put it on your mirror <laughs> and to put it all over as to this is why I'm doing it. Because when you don't feel good, you still need to do it. Right. When you don't want to, and you know, maybe your family, I mean, there's been times where my family's off, you know, in the house doing whatever, and I, you know, promised myself that I would accomplish this task before I sat down with them, right. you know, knowing that the reasoning is it's for them, I'll right. do it anyway. Right. You know, and then that precious time that you have with your family or, um, right. Even just if you're not, if you don't have a family and you don't have a husband, you could still have that precious time of right. going Do out with whatever. your friends, exactly. whatever it is. It could be but anything. knowing that you've accomplished what you've put your mind to, yeah. then it gives you so much more freedom to enjoy those things um, that you love outside of what your yeah. your in home business. Is. And it, it it just it just makes you a better person. I think it keep, you have a better attitude or thought. Your emotions are better because you're not walking around with the guilt mm -hmm. of, you know, I could have I done should, that, yeah. but I was watching that television show. Oh, yes. You know, um, and that sucked or up all my or time. Or I was on Facebook too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or I was, yeah. Facebook can take up a lot of time. Take, you can blink and you've been on for 45 minutes. Yeah. What did I do? Yeah. I don't know, but Susie cooked an apple pie. <laughs> And I'm not enjoying apple pie. <laughs> right. And I would ask you to do this. Say to yourself, does this bring me closer to my goal? So, and, and that gives you then the right not only to eliminate excuses from your life, but give you the power to say no. Like yeah. there's some good things that I've had to say no to because it just did not fit into what God intended for my life. Cause I can't, you can't, unlike what everybody says, you cannot have it all. Right. Um, so you do have to choose, um, wisely in what you say yes to and what you say no to. Yeah. So there's definitely been things along the way that I've said no to, but because I am balanced with my schedule and I know my why, actually I feel like the Lord has bringing, brought, New, better things into my life that I can say yes right, to. Right. So then you're choosing the best yes instead of uh, saying yes okay. to something that you probably yeah. should have said no to. Well, this has been great. We could we could talk about this all day, yeah. but um, my camera's probably going to time us out here yeah. soon. So <laughs> this was uh, segment two. I can't wait to hear what we you've got for us on Friday for segment three. So I'm excited. Till then, see you guys. Bye. Bye.